Hello everyone, and welcome to another Haller for an Hour. Today we're starting off, we have a whole list of cool games today, but we're starting off today with Recursive Ruin. This game describes itself as a kaleidoscopian puzzle game. With a narrative experience tacked on, too. Which I might be interested in as well. But mostly I'm here because it's a kaleidoscope puzzle game. And that really intrigues me. It looked absolutely weird. And abstract. And weird. And I'm interested. So, let's check that out. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but I need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so. It makes a difference. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. But let's go ahead and start a new game and see what this go where this goes. Warning. Recursive Ruin contains kaleidoscopic visuals, like I said. Some individuals have experienced mild motion sickness while playing. If you experience motion sickness, we encourage you to tweak graphic settings and take breaks while playing. This is fair. If you Also, I will just go ahead and say, since it is kaleidoscopian and probably a bit abstract, if you have issues with seizures, please watch the video carefully. Uh, maybe, you know, I don't I don't know if there's any going to be any flashing lights or anything. Probably not, but I do know the visuals get quite weird, so do take, take caution on that. Let us begin. And I apologize if my AC makes noise. It is a hot day. And not, not in the it's awesome and really neat day. It's just hot. <laughs> On the threshold of strange aeons. What's that mean exactly? Oh, okay, I'm active. Okay. First thing I'm going to do. Boop. There. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> yeah, that's always like one of the things I always have to start the game to find out. What's this? Oh, it's the game. Meta. Okay. What do we got here? Cover art edited for Tal's metal band. Ooh. Dark Ashes of Yggdrasil. Oh, okay. It's still one of my best pieces. I wonder where Tal's at. <laughs> wait a minute. Cover I did for this band. Music. Hold on, wait, wait. Somewhere. I'm intrigued, but also... Alright. Hmm. That was a longer, longer dialogue than I expected. <laughs> I just really... It's like, cover what I did for Tal's albums. You did such a good... Yeah, I agree. Your best cover alt art. I really appreciate the white. And the white. With hints of white. Very good. <laughs> Alright, what's this? All my old shit is in there. Oh. At this point, it's more of a time capsule than anything else. Sometimes I open it up hoping to be surprised by what I find. I mean, if you forgot what's in there, it is kind of a surprise at that point. What kind of person are we? Ah, a spectral ghost. Understandable. Okay. <laughs> I got a thing. Do I have an inventory? I don't know. I have a ship now. Hopefully it's not on my shoulder. It may not look like much, but this is a prized possession. A ceramic cow painted by my niece. That's cool. I broke one of the horns. How dare you? Was that you asserting Domus? Like, good work, niece, but you could do better, break horn. I expect something higher quality next time. <laughs> Honestly, this is cool art. I like this. Oh, hello, angry cat. Slash, probably cat. Looks, yeah, it's a cat. <laughs> what is this angry cat? Look at this. Man. Yeah, I'd love to have that in the corner of my room. That's just a cat like this. <laughs> While I'm sleeping. I mean, we're at the, nothing's gonna come attack me with this cat around, but. Sweet cat. Towns, man. Portland, Oregon. Oh, see a better show. I know that city. I've been there. I've lived there. Well. Uh. Hi. I've been taking work home lately. They tell me I'm talented and the money's okay, but on 
Honestly, drawing for the agency isn't how I thought it would be. Hmm. Corporate droids. Ah, here's the band, I think. When I look away, I pretend it's still there. Just out of sight. I can even hear the crowds and the 60s cycle hum. Mm -hmm. I think that's the band name, if I recall. That's pretty cool. The god of the digital world, Digimon? Well, he kind of existed before that in mythology, but sure, we'll go with that. Alright, this icon, though. Sucking Cathedral, June 2034. Port Reyes, California, age 25. Memory playback, huh? I think the visuals got corrupted. Oh, okay, it's a beach. I think. <laughs> That's a leaf. Remember that memory you had with that leaf? Wasn't that such a good leaf? That's part of your imprinted memory. That was such a great leaf. This art kind of looks like it's uh, AI generated, actually. Nice. I like that one. Thanks, man. Guitar. I want to show you something. Only the volume is good since it's going to be audio experience. Did it look up here, I think. Yeah, that's definitely AI generated. You can tell because of the shapes of the holes. Huh. Looks like some ancient cathedral that sunk into the ocean. Better guess the mine. <laughs> it's the old pier. Caught on fire decades ago. They couldn't do a thing. <laughs> the thing that's in the water. Caught a fire, and you couldn't figure out a way to put it out. Okay, got it. <laughs> Volume is low. I'll fix that after this cutscene thing. Oh god. Okay, that was that was not quiet. <laughs> oh, and then everybody died. Okay, got it. And then unfortunately, Tal exploded and had a few. There was a funeral. Actually, that might be not completely it. You know, I was joking about the corrupted memory thing. I didn't mean that. I didn't wasn't trying to predict something here. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, that memory is fucked. I... I, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Um, okay. Now what? Cat! Behemoth! I want you to know that I appreciate all the good times we've had together. But if you die and I'm stuck in here, you're gonna eat my corpse? I'm definitely eating you. Absolutely. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't expect nothing less from a cat called Behemoth that looks like this. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't need to eat you if you brought de if you bought decent cat food. Why are you a lion, lion now? It's not that expensive, but your life is. <laughs> so, I want to talk about things. Maybe you should draw something. When was the last time you made art that didn't sell a product? Salem the Wit, the cat you mean from Sabrina the Teenage Witch? <laughs> God, I remember that. 90s sitcom? Was it, was, would you call that a sitcom? I think so. You made some kick-ass pieces back in the day. Remember that print you did of procedural lava bats? What, what the fuck are procedural lava bats? Or that killer album cover. You mean the white one? I really like the white one. Yeah. Good times. By the way, a package came in today. Oh, you're a package delivery cat? That's good. Is it free roll apartment? I took the liberty of opening it. Thank you. It saves me time. I mean, if you got claws, you can open the, the tape. Sure. Thought it might be cat food. <laughs> That's fair. Looks to be some kind of game. The disc is by the TV. Oh yeah, I saw that. It's very meta, because it's kind of like the, the title art of the game. Oh, okay. Oh, sure, let's do it. Meta! <laughs> okay, uh, let's do the options. Now, why does that remind you of an anime? Alright. Citadel, which stands in eternity. 
Did I just start the game or am I about to am I in the final area? That sounds like a very final area. The Citadel which stands at eternity. It does not sound like stage one, but okay. Hello. And who is this? I don't know. It is rare Me. for a being to find their way into the center of the well, who is this? Well, I don't ca I don't care. I'm going to play the violin Let's now. See what you can do. <laughs> Think you can find your way out of this room? Uh, maybe? Elric, huh? I kind of like this guy's design. Interesting. Haha, -ha, I was just I just wanted to play for a second though. I just, you know, just just wanted to get a few strums in. I do that when I have conversations with people. All right, let's what's this? Thank you for that. Uh here? Good. Did I do it? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I guess so. Alright then. <laughs> oh god. So what's up? Not as easy as it seems. I pick up box. It was not okay, more violin, gotcha. I'm Elric. Strom. A. We need a sedition of sorts. Okay. Given the current state of the realms, I am disinclined to concern myself with a single spaceship. Fine, I'd be. I think I just got this. Let's see if I'm right. Stupid spatially finite beings. So so limited. You should be able to shift the world. Chef? Useful. That's the sort of thing a bad guy says. Shift the world. Okay, with we'll right click. That works, I guess. Uh, I like the techno mountains. It's a good place. All right. So, do you kind of see what I? You see what the kaleidoscope thing means? Uh, yeah. Holy shit. Uh, do you do you get it now? Do you get it now? That's trippy. That's very trippy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it feels like I'm going to a center point, but I'm not. Ever. That's not how it works. Hi there, Crimson. Box. What does this do? Is this, uh, useful? Okay. Also, look, you can see the cube over there, and over there, and over there, and over there. <laughs> it's an infinity puzzle. So let's see, what am I, what am I supposed to do with this? I mean, technically, the, like, if you wrap your head around it for a second, this is a very small area. It's just, it's just, it, it's just infinitely repeating. Um, so... What do I do with a cube? What, what am I supposed to do with this? Because there's this thing. There's a line here. Maybe I follow it. Let's see. Let's see where it takes me. Oh, okay. Here we go. The world repeats here. Look all about, above, below, behind. And don't forget to shift the world. Okay. Yeah, what happens if I- Oh! Oh, hold on a minute! So if I shift the world- Okay, so wait. So, it's currently in infinite state. And now it's not. So I can shift between kaleidoscopy and infinity? Or create- a, create- making this area a static area? But of course, I can never stand on the island. No matter how hard I try, because I'll never be on it. It's always going to be in front of me. So, alright. Okay. So now the question is like... Oh, and oh yeah, now now it's, this is infinite. Now it's, it's infinite. It's invertedly infinite. God, that breaks the brain, doesn't it? The, the, the island is itself a... Yeah. Wow, that's cool, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here. Oh, apparently that was the wrong answer. I thought that I thought I was being clever there. Right, I'm gonna 
grab this again. So you see why I was interested in this, right? Like, this is just straight up intriguing. Alright, where does it want me to go, though? There does seem to be a room down there. Wait. No, there's absolutely a room there, though. Which I don't think is a repeating... Is that a repeating area? I can't tell. <laughs> Oh! Okay, I think I figured it out. Maybe? Can I enter those windows if I, like, jump right? No. I think I figured it out. But I'm not sure. I, I want to go inside, though, don't I? Yeah, look, there's a portal there. I want to go in the middle. How, though? Like, I do need to go in the middle of the island. You can't change dimensions while falling. I tested that just now, actually. Funny timing that you mentioned that. Alright, what- so, I do- okay, this is interesting. So, what- what do I- what do I do to get into the- to get into the island? I can throw the cube, this is true. Let's see how far we throw it, I guess. Pretty far. I guess I could probably... I mean, I threw it in. <laughs> Wait, what if I... Where's that put the cube when I <laughs> turn it around? Not entirely sure. I seem to have lost it and will re retrieve it. Can you toss the cube to the collapse point? I mean, that, yeah. I'll... That looks like it just re deletes slash resets it. I could maybe try to throw it into the gate. Hold on. I think I got sucked in. Not, not that anything really happened. Hey, let me try again. Little square hole? Where? Wait a minute. Above the portal? Oh, 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 oh. Well, that feels like a lesson in frustration considering how close I got that throw and it still fell out. I mean, maybe. I mean, that was a pretty close shot, but I still messed it up, so... I don't know if I... I mean, maybe if with a lot of effort, but I want to try something, actually. I'm noticing... I'm noticing something. Hold on. Yeah, there, this this corner ledge, I just noticed it. If I drop down there, I get reset, but can I just, like... Win the window, now that I'm not sliding all over the place? No. But, that looks like it has a potential value, so, hold on. I mean, I can look in. Let's see what I can- Let's see if I can look in through the windows. Cause yeah, there's that one I can grab, technically. 
Can I, can I grab that? Oh! No, but I think I understand something. Shift the world while I'm like, oh, that's an interesting thought. Oh! That might actually do something. Let's try it. It murders me! <laughs> to be fair, yeah, that does kind of crush you. <laughs> Even in a kaleidoscopian environment, it is possible to get crushed by, by geometry. What I'm curious about, though, is... Yeah, I don't think those square holes are, like, an indicator. I think they're just... Hey, let me try something, though. Can I, like, lightly throw? Well, I, I did land it. I was curious what happens if I landed that in there. You know, this looks like a, a warp port. Oh, can't quite tell what's going on there, but... It, I do find that ledge really interesting, though. Why does it exist? I would say that this is a warp portal that would lead inside. Like this? And it is connected to a thing. Like, it, it has this red line connecting to this. But there's, that's kind of where the... Extent of it is. I wonder if you can get that pen up from beneath. Explain. What if you throw a cube in the sphere on the pillar? Wait. Fuck's this. Oh, this is where I got. Oh, no, I've, I've solved it. That's a cube thing. Okay, a solution found. It was just hiding. Not really that secret, I just wasn't paying attention. Alright, now, um, let me guess. Warp's active, I can go in the middle? Yep. Well, it was as simple as that. Really, the puzzle here was trying to navigate. <laughs> Sometimes you'll interact with the repeated world. Look inward. What do you mean? That's blocked. Look inward. Oh, uh, let's shift. Oh, okay. So now this is repeating. And I can grab this. And then shift it again. So we have access to this. Well, we actually didn't really do that, but whatever. Uh, this is a pretty well-handled puzzle mechanic, though, I have to admit. Like, I like how when we re-merge the islands, we get infinite- we get infinity in this section, too. I mean, well, we've never left infinity, but we get to see it more clearly. Try walking through that force field. Oh, I'm gonna guess I can't bring the cube through it? Well, that's very- that's very portal-inspired, yeah. Everything repeats here, even in cube. Sometimes you need to leave things for yourself to find. Oh, that's motherfucking genius. Okay, I get you. I get you. I get you. I mean, technically, you just walk around to the. Yeah, okay, hold on. Leave yourself for things. Hold on. Can I? Or technically, I just do that. <laughs> I think there's another way to solve the puzzle, but. I think I was supposed to use the infinity in some way again, but also that should work. Oh my god! <laughs> I almost threw it too far. <laughs> I could use infinity, or I could just, you know, that. Wait, what? Okay, there. That was, <laughs> it was being very weird, alright. <laughs> alright, so now where am I going? Hello. Sup? Well, well. You have a habit of getting. <laughs> I let me play my violin for a couple strums again. Though honestly, mustn't it be the case? How else did you find yourself here? I realize his head repeats infinitely. 
It's like his head cavity. It's pretty cool. Wait, what? There's a there's a mouse hole entrance. Can I? Can you make me micro? That's the spirit. You're already thinking about how to escape. You could, of course, quit any time you like. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, that does give some vibes of that. Things are progressing well. Didn't that world have impossible geometry as well? You. Who? Sherjot? Sherjot? What? I missed how he said that. But let's see if you are complete. If you are a true emissary, you can expand the whole world. An emissary? It would be very useful. Why am I getting slight poke roll vibes for some of this dialogue? Okay, let's see. Sh oh! Micro ability. Cool. What's behind you? Okay, nothing. How does I expand while I'm inside? Oh, it doesn't let me. Can't fit! That's 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 quitter words right there. Should the world may block or grant access to areas. Oh, we're still exploring. Yeah, we're just going. We're going down the cube. So wait, what happens if I shift here? I mean. This is... Okay, what do you guys think? What is your opinion of this mechanic? Or are you shrinking or is the world growing? That's true. So I could just leave, but... Well, that doesn't really... I mean, it changes the middle, so... Okay, so now we're, I guess we're working our way down the pyramid, and... Okay. Oh, I see. Now, now those small little... Yeah, okay, I get it. These little, these little things are for, well... Oh! I said, no, I need that, actually. I just realized what I need to do this. By the way, th th you may notice that also, the cube changes size. Oh. I thought I was going to use that as a platform. If I... Okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh, right, that's a work point thing. What would happen if you shrink while holding the cube? Ah, that's a good question, actually. Sometimes you travel in strange directions, take a leap of faith. Okay, well, this blocks me off, or sends me back up. Let me grab the cube, since they brought that up, and now I'm curious. I mean... Huh. The cube will stay shrunk if I shrink with it, but it will regrow if I grow. But it will not shrink if I shrink again. Interesting. Alright. Can't shrink while holding the cube. Can I shrink while holding the cube? Let's see. Yeah, I totally can. I just need to be less stupid. I don't quite understand that warp thing that happens there. <laughs> All right, let's see. That's good. <laughs> it is weird how this cube does change size, though. Sometimes I have to, like, look at that and think about it. Okay. Oh, it's killing me. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, shift. Let's just say about taking a leap of faith. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I shrunk so I can fit in that little... Right, I get it now. All right, where am I now? I still have the cube. <laughs> Whatever you shrink while in the cube. I did, yeah, I gotcha. I, I'm gonna guess breaking the cube was the smart move. Because I'm guessing, yep. There we go. Oh, hi, tile screen lady. Oh, you're, you're a scoreless shot. Mm. Okay. Okay. But how can, it lies behind understanding, though. <laughs> I can't understand something that lies behind understanding. That's not how that works. Okay, let's see. Where, where are we at? Oh. We appear to be falling. Oh, my. Oh, the frame rate kind of dies when I look down, but that's fine. To be fair, yeah, that's that's kind of a lot for it to process. Okay. Can't fit. Oh, wait, hold on. I guess I have. It's a sphere? Everything's a sphere? Okay. No, no, not the Great Seal. What about the Magnificent Walrus, though? Is, is it still okay? Hmm. Also, she's just very quiet. At least there's subtitles. Hmm. The Icar? The Icar? The Icor. That was Icker. I thought you said Icker for that word. At the end of the Infinite Realms. Very convenient. Horrid silence? <laughs> Return is eternal abandoned. So there's some shit going wrong in this Kaleidoscope world. I gotta go to the end of eternity. Excuse me. Don't worry. It's only a short walk. Um... Ah, and here it is. The, uh... You know what's hilarious? I could just fall off here and completely have to do all the puzzles again. However, here's the gate we saw at the bottom, so... That was the Citadel, which sits in eternity. So that was intriguing. What would this game look like if you go out of bounds? I think that sky thing. The threshold is strange again, so we're back here. Let's, let's look around a bit more. Let's, what's this? Okay, I'll do a Tucker read. <clears throat> Alright. Because <laughs> I just like a look at this and I'm immediately like, alright, Tucker read time. Let's see how that was the feed for that there. A, a ghost found a site that said no ghosts. So, a sign that said no ghosts, so the ghost ate the sign. <laughs> I didn't actually read it before I switched to Tucker. I was gonna read I, I did not read it first. I did not even know it would go into that. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Eric? Eric? Z oh, it's Lovecraft. What? I never gave it back. It's supposed to be about some lunatic playing a violin. Maybe it's good. <laughs> I mean, books about lunatics playing violins are usually good. A picture from one of our ridiculously large family reunions. What? The folksiest people imaginable gathered in the middle of nowhere. This is a should have enjoyed it more while it lasted. This is a family reunion photo? What kind of eldritch horror are we? <laughs> Lovecraft, yeah. I never liked that desk. Intimidating. I hate oh something about the wood. Hmm. Reminds me of my father. <laughs> what? <laughs> that wood is sure intimidating. It make, definitely makes me think of my dad. Like what? What? <laughs> Probably call her back. 
tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, definitely tomorrow. Tom must have sold his soul to win so much. Crypt of Aeon Second Edition Glitch Glitch Games. Yeah, you know, that's the that's the name of the company that made this game. So I wonder if that's the actual game they made before this. Oh shit! Hi, I didn't see you just sitting on the couch of your memory, hollow memory. Okay, we seem to be humanoid, if this is like a projection of us, which I assume it is. This is also, yeah, it looks the same as our spectral form, so. Very abstract, if you haven't noticed. Alright, what do we got here? What? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Behemoth takes over the world. See, art is easy, Tell. Nice Photoshop work, Tell. Mahogany wood. That's a nice wood, actually. Isn't it very durable? In another place, another time. I'll disappear. Maybe we'd still be sitting on the beach at night, listening to the waves crashing against a sunken pier. Did you hear about the guy who really hated peers? Like, he just absolutely despised them. And then all of a sudden, he just, like, nobody could find him again. You could say he disappeared. <laughs> okay, they got another memory card. I hope this one doesn't corrupt too hard. Memory playback. <laughs> Dallas, Texas, age 13. 2022! Huh. Ah, okay. Yeah, hard rock guitar and Barky. This is what I need. Thank you, Dad. Fuck. Very good. That literally went nowhere. What in the holy hell is that? Oh, Give Dad. that here. You're 13 years old and bringing this devilry into our home. Get oh. out of there and face me like a man. Oh, shit. You are very lucky that we're running late. We'll be having to talk about this later. Come on. You know, I actually don't mind the, uh, so narrative storytelling in games like this, where they're a little more, like, this game has a slight bit of pretentiousness to it, but I'm not too bothered by it, actually. Wow, you hear that? That's real music. Not that shit you brought home. Weirdly monotone, I agree. It's kind of boring to me that like way. This? He sounds kind of messed up. Can't I like both? Can a man love our Lord and love Saint? Oh god, he's one of those people, yeah. You've got your mother's blood in your veins, but that don't mean you gotta listen to it. This is an important moment for you. Time to kill the boy and become a man. I didn't take that okay. metaphorically at first. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? No, stop it. I've never heard that metaphor before. What the hell is that metaphor? That's that's a I don't like that metaphor, jeez. Earl so often. Well, this here is the family business. Just don't tell your mom. It's called crack cocaine. Are we seriously? Okay, I actually people like that exist. Memory. Devil's Memory. music. Memory. You can't do that. Also, I take cocaine. <laughs> what? Well, there are people like that. <laughs> wow. Oh hey, hey there, cat. What you reading? <laughs> Let's see here. 
The music of Ericsson. Oh, that's that book. Oh, it's on the shelf. There's a lot you need to catch up on. The mail piling up, the missed calls, and replied emails. I see you found some cat food. The, the leaky sink, the student loans. Oh, the student loans. Cat, you shouldn't care about the student loans. He is reading. He's reading. That's cute. I'm doing what I can. But I'm starting to think that maybe they're catching on. Who are? So the fact that a demonic cat made it into the correspondence loop. Oh, okay, it's fine. I mean, as long as you're my friend, I don't really care if you're a demonic cat or not. Correspondence loop? Perhaps I should have been more discreet. Brain, please send cat food. Followed by only the good stuff. <laughs> Which is probably a bit too much. <laughs> Look, at some point you're going to have to talk about what happened. Can't ignore it forever. That game looks cool, at least, so there's something strange about it. I thought it was just a puzzle game. Speaking of which, the second recursive ruined disc is around here somewhere. Wait, that whole. What I experienced was just one disc? Multiple discs? Are we back in the 90s? I know, right? This is like 20, 30 something. Please say yes. This is like 2030 something and like oh, that's all you can put on one disc? Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, disc technology really went back a few years, didn't it? Um, Alright, let's let's check out World 2. We have time for it. Or level two. This is intriguing. This is actually really well hand real really well done so far, I'd say. Echoes that ring eternal. Yet again the word eternal. Alright. Future dimensions will be hints. Only read those if you want help. Okay, gotcha. I'll try to avoid them then. What's this? Oh. Alright, first off, what do I have for a shifty environment? Okay. I understand. Jump. Let's look around this ring. Actually, let me just spread the rings. There we go. Let's look around a bit. Okay. All right, what if I go this way then? Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. That blockade is in my way, but if I do that, it's not. Huh, okay. Fair enough. There's a little bit of overlap on this one. Okay, so. What's interesting is I can, this is interesting. Like, if I wanna know what's underneath this platform, I just need to look over here. <laughs> Like, kind of odd, but like, if I want to know what's underneath me, I just need to look to the side. Okay, so there's actually... And actually, that's how I was supposed to... Guys, that's how I was supposed to find stuff that's off a ledge. Like... Like, whatever is here, actually. What is that? I can see it. There it is. Hi? Oh, okay. You're gonna block me, I see. Okay. That's a sensor that stops the me from going forward. Okay. This game does seem to have trouble. Like, if I look certain directions, you guys lose frames. Or at least it looks like you guys lose frames. I don't know if that's just the preview thing. Tell me how smooth it is, I guess. But I wouldn't really even hold it against the game too much, considering it's rendering infinity. So, uh, fair enough, I guess. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. There's like a portal down there. But I guess if I drop all the way down, I'll just... <gasps> I actually landed that. Was I... Was I supposed to be able to? Well, anyways. 
<clears throat> well, it got me a cube. That's definitely a step in the right direction. Why don't I put everything together? Okay. I actually is this the death pillar? Yeah, it is. Okay. So if you want to, you want to know what's up. <clears throat> I kind of maybe did an exploit. I have a distinct feeling I wasn't supposed to be able to manage that. I think I think I uh, may have skipped a little bit or something. Or maybe I'm just supposed to do that. I don't know. It's, it's easy enough to do. I, I hope that is actually an exploit because I would like the idea of... I don't know. The concept of... I took an infinite world and exploited it sounds kind of fun. <laughs> it does seem like I did. I have to fall in a very specific place. Oh, well. Is notable. I can still shrink, by the way. I just haven't seen a reason to do so yet. I'm gonna go grab that cube again. I do lose it if I fall all the way down, though, so. It's only so helpful, but. There we go. Still, though, obviously, this is something I, I should grab. I do have to admit, I don't know what to do after that. Oh, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at my cube, okay. Yeah. Whoops. Can you still shrink and grow? Absolutely. It's actually really easy to do. <laughs> there, shrunk. I don't know if it's really helping in this situation, but yeah, I could do it. Like, it's good to have the. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me think about this. Is there any way I can get the cube top side reset myself, but just get the cube top side? Or something? Or what can I do with this cube? Let's see. I mean, that doesn't really help. There's no way to fall in, like... Hmm. It's very dark down here, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to have the cube. I just can't really put it anywhere useful. There's, I mean, there's a forest field out there, but that would just destroy the cube. I'm not really sure what's up with that forest field, to be honest. This is this feels like a really secret room. I mean, again, like I said, it's just gonna destroy the cube. Also, I don't even think I can chuck it that far. Well, maybe I can. Let's try. I actually threw it past it, so maybe it is possible. Let's give it a shot. Right, that was too short. Did it set up a wave of goo? Uh, no, that's just the deletion mechanic. Same particles as before. If 
If I had something in the back red, I could, like, I match my reticle to, that'd be easier, but... Died right in front of it. Right, that proves it. I hit, I actually hit it, and it just deleted it. So no. <laughs> I know I hit it that time because the explosion wasn't on the water. So. I had a feel, the harder that was, the more I was like, this is probably not what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> wait. Well, not what I meant to do, but. Oh. That's interesting, look over there. I could fall there. What do I do just for fun? Throw in, th throw in clothes. That deleted it. Okay. Not surprising. All right. It's uh. Okay. Okay. So what have I learned? Oh. Can I? No. Hi, Kaposa. How you doing? It's been a little bit, dude. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that's mm, that's awkwardly positioned, actually. No, that bridge is uh, it's indented more than this bridge, so I can't get I can't fall onto it. Could technically maybe fall into this one. Well, that would just be yeah. We technically have on a different side now. Let's look around a bit. Wait, 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 wait. No, what was I thinking that would help? The uh, c c like switching the world position doesn't help as much in this in this level for like traversal, at least not currently. Okay. Wait, what's this? Oh, I, thought, I thought it was a... Wow, that's a wall. It's just so reflective I was confused. Wait. Oh, oh there's hole. Wait, holes? Hmm. Overworked by hanging in there. I feel you, man. I hope things can pace... Uh, I hope things can pace themselves. Alright, so... Okay, here's what we know, right? This says jump for some reason. This has three lights coming off of it, but only one's lit. So I guess let's start by following that. I'm thinking that's probably a guide. And I should probably pay attention to it. Of course, it just leads to here. Which, yeah, that'd be cool to go through there, but this orb, though. What if I shrink? Damn it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the hand. I could jump from this ledge to the one next to it. <gasps> Fucking, I get it. Fuck your, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I see. I should have thought of that. Okay. I was really contemplating, like, how could I get around the orb, or like, how could I, how could I trick the orb, right? I completely forgot to consider just, like, yeah, bypassing it. Okay, so we hit a switch, but I assume, assume that means, yeah, there's another light. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I do appreciate how it kind of guides you the lights to kind of, like, focus your attention towards a certain direction, which is kind of helpful, because, like, it's... <laughs> what to look at? Mm, where is that going? Wait, what? Uh... How did I get here? 
You know what? That's fine. It looks like I, this is where I should be. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure how I dive teleported to where I did, but I'll take it. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <gasps> oh, you motherfucker. Where, where am I? <laughs> What's the point of this route? Oh, it's just a drop off. There's a drop off right here. This, this is how you're supposed to, you're supposed to drop off from the top. Enter the thing. I, I basically went. I, I somehow did a warp glitch, and ended up halfway through the puzzle. But this is how you're supposed to enter the puzzle. I don't even know how I did the warp glitch, honestly, but yeah. So I was supposed to, yeah, there's a drop down point, and that's how you access this area to get to here, to get to here, to get to, yeah, wherever this goes. And. Oh. Go away. <laughs> Go away! Shoo! Stop your force building. That's cute. Uh, I like how this is set up. Go away, shoot. Wait, was that bad? I actually don't know. <laughs> no. There's a degree of confusion here, but that's fine. I mean, it put me somewhere else, but it seems like this else path goes somewhere too, so sure. I, I have no- I'm in like some weird fucking vid system at this point. Um, okay, now I'm just- now I'm just in the rafters. That's why there's just like a few floating rooms out there. This is so trippy. Alright, now we're here. What did that accomplish for me exactly? Where am I going? Oh, okay. Hello? Who are you? Gold mask? <laughs> How many kilograms of flesh per second can be drained out? Current projections have been invalidated. This will require further calibration and spectral analysis. Time to make up for your lack of energy. Fear it out. There is an interesting amount of uncertainty in the system. This will significantly impede the calculation. Internal red levels are increasing. Shh. Someone's here. Someone is here. Do you start us? Hello. Uh, look, you really shouldn't be here. I think I fell here by accident. That's me. Your contemplative residuals have exceeded saturation. This will require adjustments. Okay. The emissary of strange chaos, Tom. I'm off your hiding for a boundary, do you? Perhaps your abilities warrant such a title. Tell us, emissary, how did you manage your way into you? I fell. <laughs> I see. You can see. However, I am concerned that the exploit instrument is detected in your self reflexive neurons. These readings in your corporeal form are inconsistent with the answers projected psychophysical makeup. Your current form will require further modulation. I'm not sure if a deep voice sphere telling me I need modulation is a good thing. Current calculations predict tissue damage will not exceed ligament structural integrity. I'm sorry? <laughs> It will work. They need only submit. I emissary. Consider yourself the best. Ah! I don't think 
tissue damage and blessed really should be in the same sentence. Or the same paragraph. <laughs> Oh, I did face out any moment. Hello. Uh, well, that was a thing that occurred. Huh, okay. Um, where am I going? I guess to press this or something. I'm not even sure where I am anymore. Also, I do kind of agree, Vessler. This is an awful lot of walking for... I can't make that go away. Can I hide? Oh, I can't. I, I legitimately don't know where I'm going. I think this got this, I think this got a little overcomplicated in my opinion. Oh, wait, 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 come here. Boop. Fuck you. <laughs> wait, which one was it I wanted to go in? This one. I think. Don't drop it, don't drop it, drop it. Ah, I dropped it. Shit. <laughs> like, what now? Do I... Oh, it puts me back. I guess it checkpoints you to some degree. Um, what I'm a little confused about is what's this way then? I don't. Oh, this is the way I came from. Okay, okay, okay. I I guess this is correct then going this way. I mean, I, you want to follow the red. Yellow indicates a push switch, so it's also an arrow there. I I do kind of agree, by the way. With uh, Esler, there's a little too much walking going on here, especially when you consider that shrinking slows me down. So that makes it even more tedious. So what do I do in this section then? I'm trying to sound this ledge. <laughs> So we know we can press the backs of them to turn them off now. And I have a cube. Ah, I was wondering. So they care about the cube more than they care about me. Which means... Hmm. I, guess I, I guess I don't need to turn it off. I just need to care about that. Alright, there we go. Oh, that was close. Alright. Hi. That didn't really stop me. Alright, then, uh, let's see. Okay, that <laughs> brought me up to the top side. It gave me a cube. Okay, what do I need to do? Oh! I need this guy to- wait. Yeah, what do I need? I have a window. What can I do with that window? I can throw it over there. Did that solve my issue? <laughs> yeah, that gave the cube decided to focus on so I can go and press this. Okay, good. Alright, uh, now, you know what? Since the game likes to reset me to a checkpoint of sorts let me, when I die, let's see where it takes me. Okay, as I thought. So I've, lear there's a, I've learned a bit of a cheese. 
if you finished a puzzle section, just kill yourself and you'll be immediately taken kind of where you should be for the next puzzle section, see? So, that's actually kind of convenient. Especially with all the walking, you know? Ah, I see. And then do that. Yeah, there we go. It's honestly really helpful because I wouldn't know where I was going otherwise. So getting that little guide, little bit of guidance is very handy. Yeah, this area feels a little, like, I don't know. It might have been required to have this much walking with how it's set up. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, I think it's safe to... Gotta be careful when I shift because I might crush myself and I just learned. <laughs> Yeah, this, okay, th it picked up a bit, didn't it, Essler? Like, it's fine here. Alright, where are we going? Feels like the puzzle distribution was a bit weird there, though. One-way shrink door, okay. Actually, not really, because there's... Hmm. Hmm. Actually, what happens if I raise up? Nothing useful, okay. Sees me, I'm fine, but I want to go down. So, once again, I need a cube. Or. Just need to take it away, honestly. A uh, down or up? Okay, up or down? Oh, will it actually, like, take me back up if I. No? Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's just this ledge. Uh, what's the point of that? Let's go through here. We will switch games when I'm done with this area. I feel like I'm close to done. And now I'm just doing a loop, actually, aren't I? But there's a mechanic where whenever you land from a jump, you actually, um... You actually, um, I, th I think I understand why it exists, but every time you land from a jump or a little incline fall, unfortunately these ramps count as an incline fall, so every time I go down one of these ramps, you'll notice a pause, or up the ramps, there's a pause. That's actually really annoying. <laughs> I think they implemented that so you can't do any weird jumping shenanigans that get you stuck, basically. Like, I think I get why it exists, but I don't, yeah. All right, let me actually get the cube. All right, now I have the cube. So. Oh, but this deletes it. So I have to throw it through there. Go around. So there's now there's a, okay, so now there's cube juggling to consider because I need to bring the cube to the, I need to basically go through the loop, go through the circle, grab the cube, and then bring the cube back to the end of the, the start of the circle again where I can use it. And, uh... Where did I throw the cube? <laughs> I just don't remember. I'm trying to look for the window. I think it's over here. Where was that window? Okay, actually, I'm not sure now that I think about it. These little falls, these little micro falls where it pauses, I really... That's really annoying for the section. <laughs> Shift the platform to get the ledge. Yeah, makes sense. So hold on a second. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so I need to I need to go down here, right? Yeah. Okay, 
so now I have this. Bring it over here. Wait. Wait, that's not helpful. God damn it. <laughs> oh, no, I get it. I understand. All right, hold on, wait. Oh, shit, I messed up. Should leave the cube where it is, though. So it's fine. I, I understand the idea of the puzzle. You just, you just turn around. Yeah, well... Kind of easy to turn around this place. <laughs> yeah, it's still there. Okay. Okay, I think I want it, like, there? That doesn't really matter, actually. How does this help me? <laughs> I mean, I brought it a bit further, but... Hmm. Now what do I do with the cube? <laughs> Again, those force fields, I can't go through them with the cube, so... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right, I gotta shift. Actually, maybe if I sh Okay, maybe if I shift the world in that situation. So, it's actually a pretty good puzzle game, but it does have a little bit of, um... I think it handles its spaces very intriguingly, but there is a lot of walking as well. It's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, duh! Okay, you make a good point. Uh, but the moment I do that... Okay, there's one problem with that, but hold on. Oh, yeah! Oh! Oh, yeah, because that portal's part of... The okay, here we go. Well, that was exactly what I was supposed to do, but the cube decided to explode. Um, okay. Not even sure why I did that, but you see what I was doing. Like, yeah, it explodes when you hit a force field, but what the hell happened there? <laughs> Should I wait for it to stop moving? Uh, okay, fair enough. A little finicky, but fair enough. Why does my vision get like tunnel vision e when I uh, shrink? That's weird when I think about it. Okay, now we're here. Okay, I. I think the objective is to. I try to do that. Good. Good. Hmm. I don't trust you guys. Despite unprecedented efforts. Excuse me. My 
guarantees that I cannot guarantee your current locality is maintained. That's a relatively minor aspect of the problem at hand, and hopefully something you can help us with. You have experienced the animations of Shiryat. Shiryat. That's how you pronounce it. Okay. I am Sensor, and they are Mordenok. Mordenok. Sub's evil. <laughs> I wonder what this ichor is. This isn't how it's supposed to go, of course. I designed the rounds to last forever. Unfortunately, it seems that forever is never as long as we want it to be. That's deep, Mordenoc. The ichor is breaking down in things. Current laws project the flooding horrors will overcome us all in two Flooding horrors? That seems like a very short time. One, two, three. Well, that I was gonna say projects are wrong, but I don't know actually. That doesn't look. Was it always like that above there? It may appear as such to be less semi-ideally derived by its structure. However, the icon is not merely a substance to be drained. It's intra-experiential reality acid. Oh, reality acid. No mess with reality acid. sinking into our skulls. You can feel it warming in, inch by inch, going deeper into the outer casing of the brain. It grows in there. The temperature at this point is just right. A homeostasis is attained. The eggs are given care. Eggs? Both blood and gray matter. Over time, which grows ever stranger, the eggs begin to hatch, spewing forth. Yes, yes. It is an important job. Thank you. Which you are failing at, which is where you come in. The fuck's that? Mm. Flash fractal? Yeah, I kind of feel it. What now? Oh, yeah, I know. I read that. I thought I was done with the area. Apparently not. Let's, okay, let's finish this up. I wanna, I wanna complete this area. Oh wait, hold on. What's this? Jump. I didn't actually jump. I just kind of landed on that. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. <coughs> Fair enough then. Fair enough then. Echoes with Ring and Turtle. Area complete. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna stop there, but we're not in our apartment. What the fuck is this? <laughs> um, okay, Curiosity killed the cat, but there's cats in this game, so it's fine. They're also demonic. <laughs> I, I'm okay. I'll out. Oh, phone call. Hold on, wait. It's up here then. Oh, it's a fucking. We're in a kaleidoscope still, aren't we? We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. The desk is here. Door closed. Moon. 
Can you shift here? No. No, I cannot. Doing something. <laughs> yeah, PT. Yeah, very much. Oh. Very PT. This is a this is a medical table thing. This is a cre no, this is a cremation machine, I think. I understood that I would be changed. Uh -huh. But this is all more than I bargained for. Just look at me. All they've left of me is this machine. Do you know what they use me for? I consume those pitiful souls that are hopelessly faded. One day they decide, with no hesitation, that they are simply done. They come here and lie down, and, and I devour them utterly. No, a cremation table. Slash it cremation machine. It is my understanding that in the infinite realms, nothing is allowed to leave. Not really. They reconstitute to something resembling their original form after an age or so. Is that what you're here for? Oh my god, what? Are you ready for me to consume your fleshy husk? Lie down, please. I was starting to hunger, and your writhing will be quite satiating. This, okay, your, your tone has changed, sir. Um. That's rather unfortunate. I will admit I do enjoy devouring them. They intentionally refashioned me to feel this way, and you look like a needy one. But the transformation is not complete, and part of me feels horrific afterwards. I've even coughed up some of them, or what was left of them. What a mess. Pleasant. I suppose when you think about it all, it does seem like a strange way to run a place. Uh, apologies, sometimes my mind gets away from me. What are you here for? No, that's not a name I've heard before. Then again, I usually only learn their names just before I enjoy them. You should try it, naming your meals before consuming them. <laughs> Anyways, you'll have to travel further. The other denizens may know something, and I sense another visitor coming soon. Creepy, <laughs> but intriguing. I think this is about our mom. Remember that foreshadowing of like we were just gonna call her tomorrow. And now we're not getting, now we keep getting like a call pickup, like busy line. I think it was like, oh, we'll call mom tomorrow, we'll call mom tomorrow, and then something happened to mom. Well, that was weird, kind of. Uh, hello, orb man. Ah, oh, good. A guest to keep us company. You'll have to forgive me. It's been a while since I've last conversed. Is there something you'd like to know? There are still some things in this head of mine that are worthwhile, despite what the others may say. To that, I can swiftly answer no. I didn't say some it. Some leave, but always through the machine. My understanding is that the long reconstitution is no more enjoyable than the violent mastication. Hmm. You'll have to ask the machine for more details on that matter. I try not to think about it. Oh, no. Um, uh, sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, yes. If you somehow get out, then you'll be the first. Though I have heard you were a special sort of spirit. Given the state of things, I have no idea where your friend might be. Perhaps some gristle on the cave floor somewhere, writhing about, writhing. Before you 
leave, there is one more thing I ask of you, if you don't mind. Now, I'm not sure that I ever knew, and if I did, I've forgotten, but I'd like to know, or remember. Why keep going, when you know it all leads to this? You're looking for me? I'm I was just down here. All right, well. Hmm. Mom, are you stuck in a landslide? Mom, grab onto something. Don't let the avalanche consume you. Uh, uh, hmm. How long is this section? I thought this was a, like a... Okay, I didn't think- I thought this would be like a- more of a cutscene sort of thing. Hello. We'll finish this up, though. Who are you? Who are you? What are you here for? Did that machine send you? The answer is no. No. I am not ready. No. I do not know of one with that name. Though it is good that you can name them. Many here have forgotten names, faces, places. For your sake, let's hope that the one you seek has not traveled much deeper into the lands of Asidium. My sight has faded with my memories, you understand, but I can still see deep into your being. Come, let me look at you. Your eyes do not see far, but they do seek far. You should understand that revelation is no game of the demon's dice. I must penetrate your soul before I can penetrate your future. Not the first date. Mm -hmm. How will you answer the divining questions? Your answers will reveal your soul. Your soul will reveal your future. Your future will reveal your suffering. Not the first date. <laughs> <laughs> Again. In the heart of the dark forest, you have been upon a felled dragon. They are suffering and wounded by a sinister bolt. If left pinned here, the dragon will surely die, slowly and painfully. The dragon begs you for mercy. Do you? Slay the dragon with a swift, merciful blow? Or aid the dragon by removing the bolt? Do you even have to ask? Your choice has been made. In a moment of weakness, you have stolen money from your parish's tithe. This tithe has been allotted to rebuilding homes destroyed by the dragon's great fire. Hmm. Using the money, you make several poor wagers with a strange ludist named Elric. Oh, him? After gambling away all of the money, you are racked with guilt. Do you? Hide your secret, but volunteer for the rebuilding house. Or surrender yourself to the Baron and accept their judgment. I mean, under these circumstances, you kind of need to be honest. This will have consequences. Onward. You are a starving cat. Your owner only Close. presents you with Replace the most with abject of Ipecacic foods in that discounted, word rusty cats. Ipecacic foods? What the hell does that word mean? Your owner is possessed by demons. <laughs> okay. However, they frequently disregard your insightful advice, which may help to cast out their demons. One night as you play in the shadows, you find your owner sound asleep. Do you? Eat the wretched soul, and finally deliver peace to the both of you. Or run away, and leave your owner to their personal hell. The run, in that situation. Thus you seal your own fate. You are a talented this is long. <laughs> Why do I have to go through a giant questionnaire? Seeing spirit oh well. Finding passageways. You ask the spirit for guidance in finding your lost friend. The spirit responds by administering several increasingly bizarre divining questions. What? 
each seeming to bring you further away from your intended goal. Yeah, you all kind of are. <laughs> In your profound stupor of isolation and distress, you have avoided any insinuation of your own guilt. No, I have it. You are begging the seeing spirit to give you something, anything to make it go away. To make these thoughts go away, to just make you forget. Are you self-projecting? But the seeing spirit refuses. Do you? Deny your guilt and continue with these phantasmal projections. Or hide from everything in the futile hope that your problems will simply disappear. This doesn't sound like it has a good option. Uh, hide? And so I can see you lie. Though you are honest with your brethren, you are in truth one of the most hideous of deceivers. How dare you? But I see far past your duplicitous lies. Are you ready for your fortune, young child? That sounds like you already gave it. And then the screams were replaced with scuffles and the sound when her oh, thank head you, the wall was not a pleasant one. What? And yet the father looked pleased with himself. Oh. And then he looked to you, Heidi. The pulsing is growing stronger and larger until those parts of the father can no longer be contained beyond the limits of cellular walls, beyond the limits of reason. So in other words, parental family abuse stuff. Now. But you know those eyes when they look at you. I mean, we already see the father is Do a bad you person. Do hear the throbbing ringing? Answer! What's your deal? <laughs> you are being unreasonable, says a malignant voice through distorted speakers. It's just a parting gift from him to... To make up for lost time. But then you were always hiding. Behind the bed. Behind a mask. Mm -hmm. Beyond any embrace. But it embraces you now. Mm -hmm. And there is nowhere to hide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not... Answer! All right, final glance for my phone again, and I never got a response last time. I got ghosts on the line. Is that good? All right, that's nice. <laughs> I actually am glad I played a little extra time here, though, because I have some additional thoughts now that I wouldn't have had otherwise. This actually answered a question I had about this game. This, this area. This, this infinitely long area. And I don't mean that it loops, I just mean that... It appears like... Yeah, this is uh... This just keeps going, doesn't it? I think we're about to be finished with it, though. Are, are we good? Alright, cool. Oops, I left. Do not submit to the icon so easily. Shiriot, you know, speak of this. Are you do that? No. I walk down the narrow path to the plane of the other. Wait, what? You cut off your last line, but alright. I guess that was itself a world? Achievement a lot, question mark, question mark, question mark. That was the name of the world. Spires is saying Forgotten Forever is part three. I, I guess. I, I'm going to stop here, though. Um, so, oh, wow. If you hit save and quit, it doesn't go back to title. Just immediately dis just closes everything. Okay. So, I'm going to end it there. Uh, I do kind of find it. Let's look at this level select here. Okay, so that's like two out of six levels. Or something? I no wait. The level select lets me see the levels I've beaten. 
and the last level I've accessed. So, I don't know how long this game is. It looks like it has room for maybe two columns of levels, so I would say maybe... Uh, maybe 18 areas in total. Um, I, I don't know. It's possible anyways. It looks like... No, it looks like we've gotten through, like, maybe a third. But, yeah, um... So here's my opinion, right? I actually really do like the puzzle mechanics of this game. I think that the kaleidoscopian nature and how it interacts is really cool and opens up a lot of possibilities. The first level, the first proper level, uh, puzzle level, was really good. The second one, it was still okay, but it was, there's an awful lot of walking. It was kind of poorly designed in, in a way, but it, seemed, it was still, it was interesting, but like, it was a little more tedious. I wouldn't normally point that out. I would normally not point that out, but here's the problem. Remember what I said at the very beginning of this of this video? I said right at the beginning that this game kind of has a pretentious vibe, but I'm not really too concerned about it if the gameplay is fun. Yeah, I was. I kind of called it. This game does have that kind of pretentious indie vibe, which I unfortunately that when when a game has that vibe, it tends to get in the way of the actual game. Um, I have nothing against a game that's more of an art game. Nothing at all. I don't consider an art game to be automatically pretentious. The issue is when a game is too narrative heavy, trying to present abstract concepts, and basically being very full of its own world building. And this game, like, I didn't mind the apartment segments. I thought they were fine, and I thought the little video things were interesting enough. I felt like the spacing between, like, how we started the game in the apartment, there's a little bit of narrative going on. Then we went and did the puzzle world, and then we had back to the part, but did a little bit of narrative. Then we, like, that was all good. Like, that felt like a good flow. Like, a good pacing. But then the, se then the second puzzle world, it did feel kind of tedious, which slowed things down more than it should. And then we got to that question mark area, and the game just went full-on pretentiousness. And it was clearly trying to make some sort of abstract point, but god, that was long-winded, wasn't it? Like, there was just so much stuff there that just, it felt like a waste of time. And it's an unfortunate thing that I see with pretentious games. They seem to fall in love with their own narratives and just ramble and ramble and ramble. And they forget that they're making a video game. They're creating in a medium where the player can interact with that medium, can play it, can move around a world, can see what's going on, can take actions in that world. But instead, you just make the player sit there and listen to the dialogue because you're so in love with what you've narratively written. It's okay to have a good narrative and to present it to the player. But when a game or developer of a game gets too full of that story, too full of that narrative, and tells the player, sit right there, you're not allowed to go anywhere, you're not allowed to actually engage with the game right now, you gotta listen to what I wrote here, you gotta listen to my little novel first. Like, that's, I don't know, man, it's not great. Story should be a augment to a game. And granted, there are games that are narrative-focused games, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing even technically wrong with this game. However, they present a really interesting puzzle idea, a puzzle, you know, theme, and I, I would like to see more focus towards that. That was honestly the cool part. And it's a damn shame that it kind of drug itself down. It did look like after that we were going to enter another puzzle area, so it could be interesting. I might come back to this. I'm kind of debating it. Some of you were definitely interested in this. I'm not sure. This seems like the developer had some really great gameplay concepts here, but unfortunately still had kind of an overly artsy vibe to it, too. Um, so it's, I don't know, man. It's, I'm not sure if this mood quite matches me. But, uh, that was Recursive Ruin. Again, I don't, I'm not saying this is bad at all. I actually really do like the actual puzzles when I can do puzzles. <laughs> like when I'm allowed to actually play and do puzzles, I do like it. But I do feel like it's a bit bogged down. And there's no way to skip that stuff too, as far as I can tell. I had to sit there and listen to all that. I think I could have maybe skipped through the dialogue by advancing it. I'm not really sure. But um, nonetheless, it, either way, it's long-winded. So, uh, But that was Recursive Rune. That's my opinion. Go check it out. If you are if you love yourself narrative-focused games, maybe it won't be any hassle for you. But I don't mind listening to a big narrative. The question is, what is it saying? And for me, I don't find abstract concepts uh, rambled on to me to be an engaging thing to narratively focus on. But that's my opinion. In any case, that was Recursive Ruin.